Okay. Thank God. Okay. okay. Wow. Now I couldn't believe you've been to Hong Kong. Yeah, I lived in Hong Kong for two years. Wow, and like, uh, what was it like? What, what year? It wasn't too long ago, I guess. It was like, like 2005, 2007. Oh, you were pretty small, yeah, though. You didn't, small. you didn't get involved with that. I remember something. Do you remember some things about it? You, yeah, I remember I got in a car, I got in a crash in a taxi. You were there after after it became Hong Kong free, I mean, rather than part of China, though. Yeah. And that was the freest time, 2005, so you were there a really good time. Now that China's starting to, starting to say, well... See all the protests? Huh? All the protests? Yeah, because they, yeah, because they just made... They just made a law there that, like, now if you do something wrong in Hong Kong, you go to court in Beijing, and Beijing got a lot rougher court than Hong Kong's. But whatever, I'm not, you know, taking... Well, you know, Beijing is a little bit on the, like, godless commie side compared to Hong Kong. It's maybe got some uh, Buddha and um, some Latse, you know, there, which is, you know, a little more gentle than... Um, Stalin was, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. More gentle than Stalin. Yeah, so, so like, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, so that's what's in Hong Kong. I think they're, they're, they're Buddhists, basically, or, and, and, uh, and uh, that's great. So, uh, so, you, so um, just to say that you were there, matter of fact, the, the <coughs> one of the most important, another really important person in my life is, uh, came over here from, sort of Hong Kong, from Hong Kong, and lived near Hong Kong, and to get out to, for the <coughs> dropping off of Hong Kong. A lot of people left at that time. Yen Wu. Yen Wu. And we're going to have Yen Wu. We're going to have a whole story about Yen Wu, because Yen Wu is a Buddhist. She's, you know, and she's, that means she believes that she's a reincarnated person. Like, you don't believe, you don't, you're not a, do you, you know about Buddhism at all? All of it. They're reincarnated. They're, you know, they recycle them, kind of. Like, you could be a squirrel, and then you could be a human. Yeah, or you could be a people of people of people, depending, you know, if that's like... But imagine the, being a squirrel. Yeah, but... Okay, yeah, all right, maybe they like, sounds like you've been a squirrel. I don't think I've been a squirrel. Yeah, I think a wool is so high that she was the Empress of China once, so she just continued being like, uh, and, you know, pretty a people. It's been a people a long time. I think you work your way kind of. You work your way up. Yeah, and then the once you get the people. And you get once, a dog, and then you're a human. Now, you could probably backslide. If you were a bad person, you might go backwards. Back but if you were a good person, you just become another person. Uh, you know, you wouldn't go. It's like a, a reward program. It's karma, you know, like what you do comes around. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, but it's a, it's different than that one shot deal, heaven and hell thing, you know, which is a, like a like a crapshoot, you know, it's eternity in hell if you're bad in this world. You don't even get another life to like re retry it over again, you know. I'll be a, I'll be better this time, you know. So, uh, but you know, this is also because we they believe that they we, they believe in the the tree that that you weren't allowed to eat off of. So that you know they the do's and don'ts are like. Are we talking about the apple? Yeah, the apple tree, and that that, that was the forbidden fruit. And once you eat off of that, you're you're really um, stuck with that one shot deal. Uh, the Buddhists don't have that apple tree story, and they just sort of go through the universe, working on if they're good or bad, good or bad, or good or bad. I, I think that Jesus was a Buddhist myself because he got. I he was, didn't people say he's Jewish? No, he, he, he well, well, whatever. That's a biological thing, if anything. But he was. Um, he went to like studied in in um, like you know, in Egypt, with, to like, where Alexander the Great put all that knowledge in the library of Alexandria, and that information contained of all of, La, La, all of Buddhism, and Lao Tse, and the Bhagavad Gita, and even, and all that, and that would be where he got that, do unto others as you have to do unto you, there's only one law in the world, and that's to love one another, you know, and God, and, and the universe, really. So, 
he wouldn't have said that if he was the tree guy. I want really believed in that other stuff. You know what I mean? If he wouldn't have said there's one law, love one another. If he believed, he would have said no. There's top five. You got got to get the big book and read all the laws. You know what I mean? Right? You know what I mean? So, I, so obviously that, and that's what a Buddhist would say. There's only one law, and that's karma. You know? You see what I'm saying? So, so he. He, he might have been whatever he was born, that's not biologically, we're not talking, we're talking about, he studied in Alexandria and he probably ran into Buddha and he probably said, oh, this is a lot better than what they're preaching down there where you got a thousand laws and if you break one, you're uh, going to hell for eternity because you picked up a stick on Saturday, you know what I mean, where you like, uh, ate the wrong thing. Okay, well, we'll get it with the smile, bye-bye. Smile, bye. Give your ears, please, son. Oh, we know it's the same, Sophie. Uh, okay, bye-bye. There it is. We, the, 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 that's the top of the tower, the chopped off top, but look who's here. We get a close-up in color, man. There he is. Back. And, of course, the Starbucks. And it's the white horse. Look at the white horse in here. We're going to end it with the white horse. The white horse, man. The rider of the white Where's your white horse? Yeah, I got it with me. Okay? There you got it. You can see it. Okay? She's, oh, yeah, it's kind of beautiful. Extended front end, you know, 10 inch bars. We got the aluminum carrier bags. We got an air blocker there because we went around the whole thing. Got the Briggs and Stratton carburetor filter. Yep, and it's a blast. We got that from the beginning. And then we got the fire department here. This is from World Trade Center. This bike is a zero one. It was at Jacob Javis Center during the centennial. And then right after the bike hit the road, the towers came down. And the bike went every day. This bike has been there a thousand times. And this bike, is it covers the world. See what a zoom is all about. We're not going to zoom.